At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. He's got some custom Hyperlite gear. I got custom Hyperlite gear. And we're gonna show it off today. Let's go! All the way here. This is probably the biggest stick selection I've ever seen in your... For full right? Yeah, we could even go into the juniors for you, Kevin. Look at that. Look at that stuff behind you. Wow. That is unbelievable. Right? Ultrasonic blocker with hyperlight skin. Well, and you had such good luck with the first one. Yeah, didn't even play season. But the only big difference, I think, was the open cuff. This had a nice big open cuff, and if I really want to open it some more, that guy can make it happen. Absolutely. On, on this one here, there's no break. And on the index there, there's a break. So the glove, what we did with the glove this time is catch grip in my ultrasonic glove. My hand kept slipping out. So this is a vapor glove. And then this gentleman's going to give me a nice little... Ski laser roof? Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. We're going to make that pocket sweet. Hopefully we can wear this gear this year. St. V's selling his ultrasonic gear. Used it four times last year. Three of which of the skates <laughs> are all in my videos. So if you want to see any of the puck marks he's made, they're in the vlog. The colors look better in person than what uh, the really did. when you send me the screenshots. It looks better in person than that. I thought so. Yeah. It's a lot like me. <laughs> yeah, looks better in Definitely person. Definitely better in person. <laughs> Those pillows. are the sharpest ones. Those look nice. I what we did with the pads this time around. This year we went into a medium. Last year we went in large, and I felt like I was maybe a little bit out of my element. For context, how tall are you? Six one. Ish. The Stabiliflex. So same Stabili block concept with a little bit of give though. Much better for guys with bigger legs, especially getting into reverse VH. You're going to have just a little bit more. You're going to have the ability to get the face going forward just a little bit okay. without having it flop forward and also still feel really solid. So on the it. pilot rotate a little bit forward, like a little lean. Yep, you can get it just to, just to kink forward just a little bit. So it just has a little bit more of that natural feel. We went with the offset uh, toe tie. Can't let you use anything else except for a Trav Spec Pro Lace. Okay. Use the promo code Trav Sucks. True friends. Don't let their true friends not use Pro Lace. I'm gonna put it all on, give us a little pose. Child on Christmas Day. Cover those feet. Yeah, give us yes, a pose. Cover those feet. <laughs> no, no, no. Become no. a channel member today for five bucks a month. <laughs> there we go. Get yourself a new twist. You break it, you buy it. Christmas morning. Hey. E St. V. Hey, what do you think? Looks good. Yeah? Looks better than the customizer, I'll tell you that much. I wasn't a fan. I like the ultrasonic ones better. Yeah? I'd say that's a close, a very close second. Should've gone custom. Custom no, graphic. No, because I can't resell them as good. White base, custom graphic. People don't want what I want. This is true, yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not true, it's Bauer, by the way. It's false. Give him a chop, give him the Ronnie Hextall slash. No, 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 no. no? We went with the Hyperlite Flex. So medium soft thigh, and then the 125. Give me a squish. Squish it down. You do this as a kid? When you were a kid, you put your gear on in the living room? Oh, absolutely. 100%. But you know what? I don't think I ever got a whole lot of new gear growing up. Yeah. I've gotten more new gear since I quit playing pro. Am I your new daddy? Or is that You're my yeah. new daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy, Travis? Is. If you have a mid-low pocket and the puck hits here, it kind of sits on a shelf. So it, it really works well because now all of a sudden if you see from this angle the puck hits and then it'll sit here it doesn't come out if you're not really really great at getting it closed on time he likes that little upshoot does the trick does mrs st v as well i've got three kids to prove it <laughs> so it works just depends on how you want it to be and everybody's a little different and if we can do it let's do it so if you're in the brand in the area winnipeg area you need your pocket released we got the guy for you travis over here he's got a great name by the way you don't even need to be from the area so all the goalies in ethiopia give travis a call he's got you covered all five of you That's you will right. release your pocket he's ready we're ready for sure ready man. to work i've done lots from toronto lots yep. from calgary lots everywhere from... ethiopian hockey associates gonna be so happy when they start getting like skateless pockets and everything and how much do you charge to do the glove uh 75 bucks okay doesn't matter the glove doesn't matter the pocket yeah i keep it simple much wider. I just want to give a little disclaimer. If you got Hyperlite, Ultrasonic, it doesn't matter. Whatever toe spacer you got, they all have the holes right here. That's all you need. You have the holes, you put the laces on. The only exception is Vaughn. The V9s don't have this. The actual like laces are built into the pad. So if you got Vaughn V9s, I'm sorry you're kind of screwed. You can't get Traspect Plural laces, Pro laces. But if you got anything else, you're good to go. Stuntman, PCV. I'm Johnny Knoxville and this is the plunge. Your balls are like gonna be right in the camera. I've already fluffed. <laughs> this piece always goes in the front, just better style. And then the piece we're gonna have here is gonna be against the back of your skate. Go through the top of the spacer. And if you have the option on your pad, some pads have the toe spacer here, here, here. 
I would highly recommend put it as close to the bottom as you possibly can. We're going to hammer down. And usually the trap specs come with their own lacing. Mr. St. V is a very stylish man. He cares about how he looks, which everybody should. And we're using orange lacing. So this is a little bit thinner of a lacing. So I'm gonna do probably about three or four knots, and then we're gonna melt them. Just like when uh, your dad birthed you, we're gonna give you a little snip. Or you're sorry, your, your mother birthed you. If your dad birthed you, you have problems I can't fix. I screwed this up on one of the first prototype sets we have. Pull this lace back. You don't wanna burn this. The armor cord is super durable. It lasts you a while. It will not survive being burned. So stretch her back, and then just let her melt. Give her a little kiss. That's not gonna be coming undone anytime soon. So let's set, don't touch it, and then boom, up with your RVH transitioning, get the pads sitting higher because they spring back. Especially if you're a big guy, you got big skates, big feet, like myself, you know they say about big feet, right? Big pro laces. There we go. Pocket's done, we gotta heat it up yet, but uh, but the pocket's done, so the shape, mid apex right there. Yep. So that's gonna have that really good snap to it. Deep pocket, so lots of room for pucks. Where pucks go to die. What do you got there, Sam V? Oh, it's a hyperlight. Couple modifications to it, but the most important part. That's nice. Look at this. Look at this puck mark. Just in front of the one and only. What's that? It's called goalie block. I never heard of it before. Go to my website. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. Because I always <laughs> f it up. <laughs> Thirteen takes later. Nice come on. Yeah, easy later. Have a good day. Pro sports. Hey, St. V, Yo. you alcoholic, get over here. I don't think it's gonna make you any better, but whatever. Take what I can get. Wow. But it looks so good. Wow. What size is it? XL. I don't want this, you guys can keep it. And this feels just like my vapor. It's much longer. No, we, we took uh, 25 mils off the arm. No, I mean like waist-wise. Yeah. It seems like it's much longer. And your arms flare out like this arm. So put your arms down. Like there's more flare here. Like that Vasilevsky poof. Yeah. What you can actually do is find a yoga mat, cut it up, and get two-sided tape and put it under here. So it flares out more? Yeah. Because we were talking about how like everything's already flared out like when it comes. We talked about making it look like Vasilevsky's chest. I don't know if, we, if they did anything when it came, but like it looks pretty... So after the chicken legs, everything looks pretty... <laughs> Camera up here, eh? Camera up here. This is the money maker. And you could just flare it out. It wouldn't be a dramatic flare out. Yeah. Keep that frame there rather than it being here when you put on your jersey, at least it'll have... Well, it might, might, be, might be nice too, is if I come into the post and that kind of hooks around there, yeah. it's not going to go through anything. Just a thought. Pasco will love that. No squeakers. Keeks will too. We only shoot five full on you, Trev. I'm trying two X Pro gloves. You were, you're full right, but they were regular. Right? Yeah, I was wearing regular handed gloves. I'm like, give me some glove shots. He's just burying everything five hole. <laughs> I'm like, come on, give me some gloves. Just everything's going five hole. Like, I'm not going down. I was like, all right, another one, another one, another one. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. I, I love it. And what was it, three and a half weeks? Yeah, like whatever it was. You see, he called it a six to eight. It came in three and a half. He said like eight, I think, was the original. Yeah, like half the time. Like. True, we'd still be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you could order five more of those. Oh, oh, Did you use this already? Yes. <laughs> he used <laughs> it this exactly morning, man. my nut hairs in there for him. But when you have a kid, you cut their hair a little bit and you put it in a plastic bag. Yeah. He shaved his balls. You want to save your first pube when you use this one. Oh, it's like the holy grail, bro. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> You'll be coming into work tomorrow, waxed and vaxxed, ready to go. Well, shaved, I should say. Or 90 minute battery life. No, we don't need 90 minutes, let's be honest. He needs like 120, but you're good. Easy. Beautiful. Oh, I need shim on those hairs for sure. Comes in tomorrow. I actually just shaved the boys, so it's gonna give you some footage, but we'll leave that out. <laughs> we'll censor it. I this idea of like, Zach could be like this. You hear the buzzer going on, and all this like hair just drops to the floor. Yeah. And then a cat comes out of there too. <laughs> yeah. You changed my life, Trav. Thanks for making me baby smooth. I was gonna put the promo code on the side of the screen there. <laughs> How sharp does this color scheme look? The New Orleans Saints, the white, gold, and black. I don't even know if there is any black on here, but it feels good. Like, if I'm getting in the post, I know I keep saying it, I feel huge. Like, if I was to wrap around the post, I feel like my arm is gonna 
cover everything. I think the best thing I loved my Vapor, my 1X, which is why I kept using it for four years, was the stiff rebounds. Like it was hard, it wasn't getting soft like a Vaughn, like all the Vaughns I used in the past, but it was still mobile. I could move really well, like my head was really able to move, like the, like my helmet wasn't being hindered. It felt really balanced and it didn't feel huge. But the biggest part was this piece with my 1X. I ended up cutting these pieces out. You couldn't take them out before. Now it's nice that when you order it, it just peels off the Velcro. And now all these pieces that were once on the waistline, I don't have to wear them anymore. Now I get that mobility, so if I'm, if I'm getting down low, I'm not getting scrunched, I'm not getting hindered, just... It, it literally feels exactly like my Vapor 1X. It feels like a, a lighter, nicer, reinforced Vapor 1X, because I got the arms reinforced as well. Worth 800 bucks? I don't know. I mean, I, I, if I get four years out of it, yeah, maybe. All right, thank you very much for watching. This concludes today's video, custom Hyperlite stuff. I'm gonna be doing a Hyperlite stick review coming up in the next couple weeks, so if you wanna check out more gear reviews, you wanna learn more about the Bauer stuff, hit that subscribe button. It is free to do so, and you can unsubscribe at any point in time. New videos every Monday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you later. He and I drove to Brandon. His gear's in Brandon, mine's in Winnipeg. Went to Wendy's. Lady's like, what's your name, sir? It's Gee. How do you spell that? It's spelled just like Guy. Can you spell it for me? He says, it. My name's Johnny. <laughs> Simple enough. I told him to say my name's Adolf. <laughs> yeah, my, window, my window's open.